Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. Hope you are fine, doing well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIETS Home School. I am Nassim Akhtar, Assistant Teacher of Science, National Ideal in the Persian School, Nagarjuna. Dear student, today I am going to take a science class for class 7 students. Dear students, our today's topic is Chapter 1 Lower Organisms. This is your science book. Mm -hmm. Our today's chapter is here. Lower organisms. Today we will read lesson one, two, three, four. Let's see today's topic again from here. Our today's topic is chapter 1, your organisms. And today we will um, read lesson uh, 1 to 4. And this is um, the first lecture of half yearly exam examination of this year. So dear students, let's begin the class. This is page number 2 in your book, lesson 1 and 2. Microbial work. Microbial work. Microbial means small. Microbial work. That means we can see these organisms without electric microscope or microscope. We can see many organisms around us. Besides, these organisms, there are numerous invisible organisms which cannot be seen by bare eyes. They do not have well organized cell with specific nutrients. These are known as microorganisms. In early stage, life has been initiated from these microorganisms. For this reason, microorganisms are termed as prokaryotic or primitive organism. Prokaryotic or primitive organism. In class stage, you have seen five kingdoms. On this classification, microorganisms are placed under kingdom Monera, Protista, and Fungi. At present, microbiologists classify the microbial world into three kingdoms. Kingdom 1, Akaryota, Kingdom 2, Prokaryota, Kingdom 3, Eukaryota. Kingdom 1. Acaryota or acellular, these organisms are so small that they cannot be seen even under a light microscope. An electron microscope is needed to see them, such as virus. Kingdom 2 Prokaryota or primitive cell. Members of these kingdom do not have well organized nucleus. Cell without organized nucleus is termed primitive cell such as bacteria. Kingdom 3. Eukaryota or true cell. Microbes having true cells are called eukaryota, algae, fungi, and protozoa are eukaryotic microbes. Now we will learn lesson 3 and 4, virus and bacteria. Virus, rickettsia, fungi, bacteria, algae and protozoa etc. are present in our environment in innumerable in numbers. Most of 
them are beneficial? Of course, some of them are responsible for producing diseases in human body. Now, we will know about few microorganisms. Virus. Virus cannot be seen without electronic microscope. These are the simplest organisms. These are the simplest organisms. In virus cell wall, plasma membrane, organized nucleus, cytoplasm, etc. are absent. You can see here is a T2 virus. This is one kind of virus. virus. So, virus body is also called as a virus. They are composed of only protein, protein and nucleic acid DNA or RNA. If nucleic acid gets out of protein, protein, they lose all properties of life. When the protein, protein and nucleic acid are gathered in another organism, they retain the properties of life. That is, they do not show any properties of life without living host or outside of living host. For that viruses are the true parasite. Bacteriophage is a common virus among all viruses. The figure given gives the idea of this their structure. That means this figure. Virus may be round shape, rod shape, temple like or bread shape. Virus causes pox, measles, sneezing, influenza, etc. In human body. Tumor of rice and mosaic diseases of tobacco caused by virus. Pox, measles, sneezing, influenza, etc. are yellow diseases. Now bacteria. We have learned about bacteria in the previous class. Now we need to have a broader look. Bacteria is non-green. That means they are not green color. Bacteria is non-green, unicellular. That means one cell microscopic organisms with primary nucleus. The scientist Anthony von Leeuwenhoek found these for the first time. Bacteria cell may be rod shaped, round shaped, comma shaped, or spiral shaped. Bacteria can be classified according to their shape as follows. Focus. Rounded shaped bacteria cell are made as focus. They remain single or in groups such as pneumonia causing bacteria. Bacillus. These are elongated rod shaped bacteria. Like this picture this is bacillus. Titanus, blood dysentery, etc. are caused by bacillus. Now coma. Shaped like bent rod such as bacteria causing human body. Spirilla, spiral bacteria. Now, usefulness of bacteria. Helps in decomposition of dead bodies and organic wastes. Only bacteria fixes nitrogen in the soil. Helps in removing jute fibers. Used in preparation of curds. Preparation of lime sleeping. Antibiotics from bacteria. Bacteria is the main basis of genetic engineering. Bacteria is used in some cases in order to identify to the desired characteristics of organisms. It is also used in genetic changes. So dear students, I have finished my today's topic. Students, for your information, we uh, will give you SW homework soon. So you have to collect your SW and CW copies. 
and now just for just for now you have to practice these lessons at home and you have to join our live classes you know that our live classes have already started from 24 jan so you you should uh, join our live classes so dear students stay home and well see you again in our next class till then assalamu alaikum